Hey, what's up all my Scorpio people? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, you guys, so I'm coming to you guys today with a general reading. Um, I did record some general readings. I can't give them off this advice, so I just decided to do some general readings first. Follow my TikTok. I'm putting up videos on there now, shorter videos, all right? So this is for anybody with Scorpio placements in their chart. I'll tell everybody, tarot card readings are like advice. You can take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. may not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody, okay? So um, we're going to start off with... Um, um, just one card from the relative tarot deck to give us an overall energy, okay? So one fell out, and it's the two of cups energy in reverse, okay? So um, off gate, I'm hearing uh, makeups to breakups, uh, breakup to makeup or something like that. So I'm pulling, I had combined the before deck and the regular tarot deck together, but as I'm pulling them off, the seven of swords and the seven of wands was left behind so i'm definitely getting some type of uh warning maybe you need to adhere to but let's let's get this going so i feel like somebody could be doing something sneaky and then they could be combative about it so let's see so we're gonna pull some from just these two combined decks okay all right, so we have the Fool here and the Devil card. Okay, and whomever this person is, I really feel like they feel like they're getting away with something, honestly, here with the Six of Wands. It's like they feel like they're untouchable. Because I feel like they've done this before. Because you see how in this fool, so this is the after deck, to, but you see how he's already grabbed the flower and he's hanging off of the edge of the cliff. So this person like lives on um, the side of taking risk and they don't mind doing it, right? So with the devil here and you see how the couple, this is also a card from the after deck, how they're laying down. It's like the devil already got his wish. So I feel like this person... Like, they cross the line quite often. They're always taking risks, but I'm getting unnecessary risks. Um, so, really, 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 really be careful with people um, who could have risky sexual behavior as well. Or this person could already be that type of person. Maybe they're just trying to give you an idea of who this is talking about and five of swords here yeah so i'm definitely getting this energy of somebody who is just relentless they don't give a fuck they say what they want to say they may treat you um the way that you're not supposed to be treated or i feel like you may be the one with this five of swords energy um after you realize maybe what this person has been doing uh, with the judgment card here at the bottom but let's see what's the fool here Okay, so it tried to come out earlier, but it's out now. You have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and then the Seven of Swords in reverse. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, Capricorn twice, being that the devil is here. And you have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy, especially with the Page of Swords coming out right behind it. Um, Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like this person could be like a manipulator as far as money goes especially with this knight of pentacles in reverse maybe this person doesn't like to work for their money they like to like use people for their money um again this person has gotten away with things so many different times as this seven of swords is here in reverse but at the same time i feel like this person they can only do so much before they actually get caught um some of you guys be careful of uh make sure that you are interpreting your signs right that you're getting from spirit because i feel like some of you guys the devil could be sending you messages or this person could literally be the devil when they're contacting you be careful So I want to know more about the devil and the page of swords. I have the ace of pentacles in reverse and the knight of pentacles. Three of wands in reverse. So what I'm also getting is that this person is definitely a user, a user, loser, abuser, and they just like go on to the next person. So 
they're, they're the type of person they'll pick up one person they'll drop another like i'm hearing that weekend song baby i'm a pro at letting go i love to see him come and go because this person is they're not sturdy at all you have the four wands here in reverse clear and find the five of swords so for some of you guys this could be like an unexpected visitor unwanted visitor because i feel like this person is like it's kind of creepy actually seven of wands here in reverse so be careful because look at these people i don't know how closely you guys can see the people in the four of wands right but they have white faces almost like they have a mask on so I'm literally hearing uh, Biggie Smalls like kicking the door, waving the fo fo. All you heard was Papa, don't hit me no more. Like, you know, so be careful about somebody coming into your home or showing up unexpected. Or, you know, if you're just meeting somebody or just beginning with the food card, um, don't let them know where you stay. Don't invite them over because I feel like this person is, I don't feel like whatever this energy is, is going to last long with this two of cups in reverse. So this could definitely, definitely be a fling. So I definitely wouldn't get too personal with this person. Like let them know where you stay at because I feel like this person is borderline crazy. You have the Empress here to go along with the Five of Swords and the Four of Wands in reverse. For some of you guys, this could be like, if you are if you have children, this could be somebody you had kids with. Um, if not, I feel like this could be like an early pregnancy. So be careful because I feel like you really do not know this person as well as you should, especially with this Ten of Wands here in reverse. I get unprotected six. Because I feel like the pos the pregnancy test is positive, but I feel like it's because you guys got to be careful. Yeah, the pregnancy test is positive, Page of Pentacles. So, okay, so for some of you guys, I feel like you are in this position where you're trying to figure out what to do about a pregnancy, especially with it, with it, with it being unexpected. Maybe you tried to break up from this person and then, you know, you guys, you realized you were pregnant. You have the hair fine in reverse clarifying this full energy over here. Seven of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Again, this person has no loyalty. And I just don't want you guys to get too far into this. I'm hearing into the deep. Into the deep. Yeah, and for some of you guys, because that's because he literally said in the song, baby, that pussy was so worth the wait. I wasn't in love with none of them anyway. So to me, it was like, he's like, the pussy was so worth, well worth the wait, right? So I feel like maybe you guys just didn't give it up to them on the first night or whatever the case may be, right? But you guys may have started building a connection with them, maybe having and protect the sex. You ended up with a baby. That's a blessing. That's not the story for everybody. But for some of you guys, I feel like um, definitely an unexpected family here. The, the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Six of Swords. And also, I feel like this person could have somebody else. So, I like, literally be in a committed relationship, with, especially with the hair font here in reverse. Um, Page of Cups in reverse. So, I feel like this person could have kids or this could be a surprise kid. Like, somebody was like, oh, dang, I didn't know you had a baby. Um, but I feel like this, okay, so if this is a situation where somebody lets you know, like, hey, I got a baby on the way or something, I feel like this is your exit strategy. This is definitely your exit strategy. Why is this coming up? Three of Cups in reverse, yeah, because somebody is not really being honest. The Knight of Pentacles here and then the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. High Priestess on the bottom. I feel like there is something, some secret. So this could literally be somebody you're dealing with. Okay, so I watched Look Who's Talking. You remember, y'all remember with John, John Travolta and Christy Allen? But it's like, uh, I remember Bruce Willis was the voice of the little baby, right? But the scenario was how she got pregnant. She was having an affair with her um boss she was his accountant or something and ended up he was married and he kept saying i'm gonna leave my wife i'm gonna leave my wife um so she ended up becoming pregnant and he kept saying i'm gonna leave my wife i'm gonna leave my wife well come to find out yeah he left the wife moved out but 
he ended up being with somebody else, like an aerobics instructor or some other shit. Like he didn't even pick the wife, he didn't pick her. He picked somebody totally different. You get what I'm saying? So for me, it's like, if you are on that position, on that side where you know this person has somebody or you didn't know, you could be finding out this person has a whole family already on the side. And like you thinking that you guys are building something, you guys are manifesting something. And for some of you guys, this person was manipulative from, from front. So I don't feel like some of you guys know what's going on. Because I feel like now, because you see how the Knight of Pentacles was in reverse here. I feel like now, because I'm asking, why is this coming up, right? The Knight of Pentacles is now coming out reverse. I mean, coming out upright. So now I feel like this person may be, they may be forced to give you a little bit of information. And it's still not everything. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody is literally had has like somebody else. Uh, with the three of cups in reverse they're not being honest with it they're they're giving you bits and pieces of information but overall they're holding in some type of secret let's get an angel number i didn't expect this energy scorpio so maybe you guys didn't expect it either this is definitely something unexpected let's get an angel number for scorpio Six, I am nurturing, okay. And 24 on the bottom, I, I am generous, which also breaks down to six. So it says, your heart is your gift. You are a natural born, born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others and are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. Okay. And then over here you have... The 24, I am generous. Hold on, I had to read about to start shuffling. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. I am generous, right? And with two sixes here, sometimes I feel like maybe you guys could be too generous. Let's say Pisces. If you guys have Pisces in your chart, watch that. So I think Pisces got that energy, but there's something about you being too giving, but you're not getting the same energy in return at all. Let's pull a couple more of these, then we'll clear this energy out. What's the three of cups in reverse? The tower. I don't feel like it's a good surprise. I hate to put it like that, but I mean, it's, it's definitely something you needed to know. So this is definitely something that could happen quite, you know, fast within the next uh, three days, next week, three to seven days from the time you see this. Because I feel like this, this was never built on a solid foundation. This could also be a friendship, you know what I'm saying? This friend it may be going behind your back, but I get more of a relationship, honestly. You have the strength card here, Leo energy. Let's get one more. All right, so the magician wants to come out sideways. So I'm gonna let him stay like that. And the six of wands is here at the bottom. Okay, so. I feel like also when this person gives you this information, the little bit of information that they're gonna give you, um, I, I feel like you may have more information, especially with that high priestess being out here earlier. Maybe you're just not saying anything. So collect everything that you can possibly collect. I'm not saying spend all your time in this. Do not, especially if this person is doing all this extra shit and lying. Um, but also kind of know when to use your tools. I'm, I'm hearing you got to know when to hold them. So what's that? Uh, I can't think of his name. Kenny Rogers? <laughs> Some of y'all like, who the fuck is Kenny Rogers? <laughs> so, um, but that's what I'm saying. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, right? Know when to walk away, know when to hide. You got to count your blessings, right? So basically it's a song, I think about playing poker, right? You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. So it's kind of like know when to play your cards. This is the hand that you were dealt with the page of pentacles now you gotta kind of organize it and figure it out right it's like you don't be over here overbidding right okay for some of you guys because i feel like you guys talking about y'all got seven books 
and y'all really only got six, okay? You don't have that seven book if, you, if you're if a spades player, right? I feel like y'all over here trying to run a Boston on somebody. But look, you don't need to to whip out all of your tools at one time because I feel like sometimes Scorpios, y'all can go for the jugular, right? But you might need this information for later on. So they're saying just kind of like, you know, and don't be bitter about this because I feel like you do find somebody, a relationship um, that's worth having but you got to walk away from this this was toxic from the get-go um but yeah i feel like you guys don't don't put too much energy into this right you find out what you need to find out and then go from there but don't don't use all your tools because i feel like this person may come to you and they're not being honest with you and you catching them up in your lives so just keep texting those We're going to get the Vox Arcana cards. We're going to see if there's any energy, um, anything in addition to this they want us to pick up on or anything new that they want us to pick up on. We'll be able to tell in the spread. Queen of Swords in reverse. Strip card. Eight of Cups, Knight of Wands. Okay, so I feel like it's it's trying to tell me what's going to transpire after the fact. So I feel like, yeah, this person is going to try to come back. It's funny because when I put all the cards together, the Knight of Wands ended up on the bottom. But you have the Knight of, in reverse, but you have the Knight of Wands here too. So I'm really getting the energy of this person soon. They might be like, oh, I'm good. I don't need you or whatever the case may be. But they're going to come right back. Let's just be honest. But spirit is kind of telling you to leave you leave it alone because they're emotionally unfulfilling. Look how he's trying to catch that water in the skull, but it's just pouring out. This person is emotionally unfulfilling. What's the queen of swords? Because I feel like as soon as you cut this person off, like they're not going to know how to act. You're nine of wands in reverse. Oh, yeah. They ain't about to put on this fucking show, the Six of Pentacles here in reverse. They're going to be like, oh, man, like, I try. Like, why you just cut me off? Like, they want you to let your guard down. They want you to let them back in just like that. What's the strip card? The Hierophant in reverse. And what's at the bottom? The tower. No, they need to learn the consequences of their actions. Right. So they're telling you to kind of, you know, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? With the strength card, the hair is here. They're not. They got too much going on, you know, and with these major arcanas, it's kind of giving me Empress energy with this eight minus five. That's why I'm saying some of these people, they have a family. None of that is going away. So if this person has like a wife and all of this other stuff or a husband and all of none of that shit is going away, right? They're just going to keep telling you, keep telling you the same shit and they're not going to change, you know? And if they're not being committed to their person, what makes you think they're going to be committed to you? What's the eight of cups? telling you seven of swords came out and the nine of cups because they're gonna try to weigh you down they're gonna say whatever they have to say to get you back to the point of where you're accepting them and it's only gonna like as you it's not you feel incomplete like i said this person is emotionally fulfilling you provide all of their needs more so than them providing your needs you put a lot into them like look at all these cups they're full right but they put nothing into you. And I feel like they're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Because this Seven of Swords energy was out from the gate. All right, guys, let's get you guys an Oracle card. Let's kind of sum this up. Get one oracle for my Scorpios. Oh, it's too many. Let's just get one. Okay. You have community on on the bottom. That, that's the problem. Community did. Or coochie. Lightning. Okay. So let's see what it says.
a force to be reckoned with. The beautiful Egyptian goddess Isis brings love and awakening of spirit. By breaking old chains and shattering outdated belief systems, Isis opens your heart to receive true love and healing through empowerment and movement. You must shift old perceptions and evolve like the caterpillar. Anything is outdated and no longer serving your needs should be shed now. This awakening is powerful and confronting. Okay, I, I won't even hold the card in front of y'all. Um, to, sh to shift stuck carbon debris, subconscious patterns, and emotional DNA, you must crack your heart exterior with energy direct from source. This intense moment may feel as if your heart is breaking. However, for you to achieve new levels of love, you must break concrete beliefs that have held you back. Address any issues surrounding grief and loss with professional assistance. Breakthroughs are now possible. Isis is the gatekeeper of this love energy and requests the presence of your soul to accept this new integration. This expansion of your heart will t intensify how you feel and share love with others. Adjusting to a new level of love, you will connect more deeply with others and see their hearts in all its beauty. Right now, you must take action. You must push forward with passion. Open yourself to new ideas and meaningful conversations. Get out there and meet people. Social activities are a highlight now. A new person is about to enter your life on a soul level. Unexpected arrivals create warmth and compassion as you learn to accept differences with appreciation, love, and tolerance. Old ideas and loyalties will be challenged as you break away from emotional and physical restrictions. Do what, uh, do what you love with purpose. Life is worth living. Long true long-lasting soul growth creates universal expansions that go far beyond our earthly limits the affirmation is i am ready to take action now the power of love sets my soul free as i grow with gratitude okay you guys yeah and that's what i'm saying like it might be shocking it might be very confronting but it's necessary right for you to know the truth and for you to be able to move on and just know this person is now you might break up with them but they're not breaking up with you off game all right you guys so please like share comment subscribe if you haven't done so already if you have you already know i appreciate it so until next time y'all already know what it is holla to play when you see me in the street you know? bye